Here's another one based kind of on the same reaction. Now, it doesn't have to be like one, two, right? But uh, you, you, you will probably want to do this just to get them in the habit of checking. And this may be one where you're not really necessarily trying to hit them uh, like with full force because you want them to, uh, you want to have, well, I'll show you, right? So I throw the kick, they blocked it, right? Next time they throw the kick, and I know that they're going to block, right? I'm going to try to hook the leg, right? And just off balance them, right? If you get really good at this, right? And this is something that I've, I've just started uh, being able to, to get on, you know, people who aren't that good at Muay Thai, right? Won't be able to do this in Thailand, right? But a lot of times when I spar MMA, I'm able to get it. So what I'll do is when I hook it, get them off balance, and that gives me that just one second to uh, throw my, um, my punches, right? And uh, once you do that, like after, after that, the person really starts to wonder like, you know, about whether they should uh, block or not. But again, so you can throw the block, throw the kick, they block, throw the kick again, hook it, and just try to pull and off balance them. Again, hook it, and then throw it off balance. If you get really good at this, you can really hook and then make somebody like, and just drop them, right? I haven't gotten to that level yet. Maybe some of you have better luck, right? But now what I have been able to do is get the person to get off balance, right? And then follow up with other strikes, all right? Any questions? But for this last technique, like this is something that you really need to practice slowly because uh, you're not, I, I saw a lot of people just kind of like kicking it. You're not kicking the leg, right? When you get good at this, like you should be able to hook onto the leg in such a way that like you have like a couple seconds, you can look the other person in the eye and be like, I got you, right? And you can manipulate which way they're, uh, they're going, right? So th that's what you really wanna do. So when, if you're practicing, practicing this with a partner, you know, slowly is, is better, especially for this, because this does not require momentum. But once you, it really requires having like a feeling in that, just like placing your foot, you can flex your foot, cup it behind their heel, right? And they're gonna have to really kind of wiggle out of it if you got it down right, okay? So keep that in mind for this. It's not a speed one. It's not uh, based upon momentum. It's really about uh, based upon um, placement and, and control.